all my life, I've been unsure about many things. What, what, I, what type of food do I like? What do I do? Who is my friend? But one thing I've never been unsure about is what do I, what do I want to do with my life? My answer to the question, what, what do you want to be when you grow up, has been set in stone since I was seven years old. I want to be a software designer. I would watch movies and see programmers doing all sorts of amazing things and understanding this cool language, I wanted to learn it all so badly. So when I was in second grade, I started watching YouTube videos on how to code. When my parents realized that I, that I was interested in programming, they signed me up for classes, camps, and programs. I learned a lot and loved programming even more. From then on, I would always be working on a project. As I grew older, programming became my hobby. I loved sitting in my room in the dark, alone, working on a program. Eventually, I learned enough that I could, that I could work on, on the games and programs I wanted to do alone. <laughs> this was my favorite part. When I went to high school, I found more practical uses for my programming, which was both exciting and terrifying. For robotics last year, a senior did most of the crucial code, the programs that allowed the robot to be driven, score points, and climb. I got to work on a program that would help the robot score points during the period of time at the beginning of each match where, where the drive team couldn't see the robot. At first, I was excited. I finally was getting something to do. But then I realized that I had never done anything like this before, and I didn't even know where to start. However, I realized that I was fine. I was working myself up for no reason, and I wasn't alone. I was lucky to have people there willing to stand at a computer <laughs> for several hours <laughs> and, help, and help me. Other students and the mentors were there to help. As throughout the rest of the build team, it still took three weeks to finish the program, but I was proud of it, and it never would have worked if I had tried to do it alone. Throughout the rest of the build period, I tried to, I tried to work effectively with the other people on the team. I'd like to think that I've gotten better, even though I naturally prefer working alone. As it turns out, working with other people can be the best way to be successful. And also, maybe backing everything up would be a good idea too. <laughs> <laughs> An important task can seem, less, can seem less daunting if split up between multiple people. And sometimes another person's perspective can be the most useful thing in the world.